Hello, it's me. I've come on to say hello. Yeah, I've been AWOL again. Um, my back went, my back went, but I'm not here about that. I'm here because today I want to share something that came my way and was unexpected and touched beyond words. I think my smile's kind of saying it all today. Um, Posty came and there was a parcel. And I went to Alec, have you been ordering? And he went, no, no. He says, have you? And I went, no. He goes, well, you got a parcel yesterday and you ordered. And I went, no, but I haven't this time. And when I went to the door, this was there with my name on it. Look, I've opened it. Oh, it's had no just gorgeous. So this parcel, I didn't know who it was from or anything else, but my delight. Um, knows no words can quite tear it. It knows no words. I did a commission for one of the ceramic soul whisper balls for Sue for somebody special very special and when I was doing the ball I kept who it was for in mind um beautiful person beautiful person never met them but you could just tell at a glance and this gift is from Sue and Sue no words enough seriously <laughs> my pure joy I cannot tell you if you had been here I wish you had been here but it came with a letter beautiful note that will be treasured very treasured and it's a little something from me to you and the mice and the strangest thing is before I go on I went online this morning to wish a very special friend Helen Helen happy birthday woo, woo, um, to wish a happy birthday today and before it came off in my memories it came up you know when you click on it it comes up Marty and Matilda came up in my memories <laughs> That looks so strange. But they came up in my memories and these were made by a very special lady called Debbie. And I got Morty as my 50th last year from Alec. Him and Debbie were in cahoots and I knew nothing about it. And when he arrived, I was thunderstruck to say the least. But um, I'm going on again, as usual, unplanned. But these have a huge part to it. So I put that post up. If you go to my normal Tracy Easton's of your friend, you'll see that post and you'll get to see Marty and Matilda. And the reason that Marty and Matilda, well, I didn't know this parcel was coming. I had no idea. And how strange it was that I'd put my memories up and shared it with everybody today. Because inside the box was a gift for the mice. Not only for me, but for the mice. For these two. And can you see? Matil Sue, Matilda, I couldn't wait. <laughs> she ran down the stairs for her trunk. She sits on top of a trunk with Marty and she ran down the stairs. And look, it fits her so perfectly. Is it not just beautiful? Look at the detail. Honestly, there will be no words ever enough in all those gorgeous colours. She loves them, but she's really loving it up. Hello. <laughs> So, let's have a cardigan on, and I hope you didn't mind, but Morty is looking very dapper, and he's got the matching scarf on. Just look at that. Got his wee button on it, and on the back, and he's going, yay, look at me. <laughs> they are ready to bedazzle. They have not waited on the coin gathering, there was no stopping them. When they knew there was a gift there, they had to have them. Just so beautiful in every way. I am so touched beyond words. And these two, <laughs> they love them. <laughs> but you didn't just stop there, Sue. As I say, I haven't been right the last couple of weeks with my back. And I'm getting an awfully frozen feeling up my leg and on the left side as well. And the gift that you have given me, I just can't believe it. Look at this. I'm going to see if I can get my leg up far enough to show you. <laughs> beautiful handmade hand knitted socks <laughs> can you tell i've been going about with such a silly grin on my face joy bursting for me i'm not joking if you could see what's surrounding me now it's just bubbles pure bubbles of joy and delight thank you from the heart i just wanted to share some of my joy today sue your gift today, especially after how I've been the last few days, just the way I've been feeling, posture, um, <laughs> reminded myself, touched beyond words, you have brought so much light, you have chased away that darkness today, I can't stop touching them, <laughs> they're just, 
they want to be on film. <laughs> they are just so gorgeous and my feet are so toasty and wrapped up in hugs and your gift to me means the world. What I did for you with the ceramic soul whisper ball, whisper ball, sorry. I, I thought of who it was for, you know who it was for. And very special person and she kept me company. Even though she doesn't know it, she kept me company because she sent me her picture. She kept me company while I was painting her. And I was listening to all the wee whispers that were going on for her special words. And no, it's me that thanks you. It thanks you for trusting me to do what I did. And for this such a special gift. There is no words enough. And wearing these socks. Yeah, thank you for the hugs. They are very much appreciated today. Thank you, thank you. We are beyond happy. You can ask Alec. <laughs> we are showing off. <laughs> he says, did he be moving about so much so Tracy could you put your back out again? But honestly, the gifts and the kindness for the people that come into my life know no bounds. These will be treasured. I don't think they'll ever take them off. <laughs> well I think they'll have them on forever they're never going to take them off they have been sitting kind of going over there on the chair of the day arms wrapped around see arms wrapped around as per usual if you're my friend and you go and check out my normal Tracy Eason page you'll see the wee picture of them from up there and Debbie who made them but yeah counting my blessings full of gratitude for even thinking about me I cannot thank you enough and see as I'm here, might as well give you another update. So, in between everything going wrong with my back and stuff, I managed to get the girls out, love and light. So, they've been away, they got manufactured, they got my samples. They're sitting here. <laughs> there's dogs are sitting here, look. <gasps> and there's lots of them. They came. I absolutely love and adore them. But when I was doing them, I was thinking more like an artist as a stamper, which it's hard to go into to explain but I'm doing a few reworks on them and they're going away again on Monday to get made hopefully get them by Friday next week and then get my, my slot done again for getting them made they were meant to be here for the beginning of August but I've put it off because I really wanted to do a few different alterations on them but I am loving them um, my mum loves them my mum's got them because <laughs> I've got two sets of samples and I always give my mum the second set and she's in love with them. And I do think they convey everything about angels of love and light. And they are with me every day. They are with you every day. We're never alone. They're always with us. And when you meet these girls, you're going to connect with them. I just know you are. And what they stand for and coming from such a special place that they do, I'm excited. Even with this ruddy back and these coldness in this left side. I am so excited. Look, look, we've been having a party. <laughs> the beans have been at the back. They've been having a party in preparation. They welcomed the girls home. When the girls arrived home the night before, the chieftain was running around and he was putting all the twinkly lights up and getting all the... I'm looking out because they're out there. <laughs> they were getting all the twinkle lights and the banners out. The welcome home girls. Morty, he was up on the roof with his magical spyglass. He was watching for the UPS guy coming. Matilda got that excited that her skirt just filled up with that much hair that she was away up the top of bed to say surf from the clouds. The good wife, she was on the, the campfire. She was cooking up a storm. Never have I seen so many monstrous haggis beasties going into a pot. Thankfully, she defluffed them before they went in. <laughs> I'll let you see them one day. And, oh, Seamus, Seamus and his true love, they were making it all lovey-dovey outside, waiting on them coming home. It was a, a really rejoicing moment and I'm telling you what, on the day that they arrived here last week, one day if you heard like loud banging noises and the woo -doo 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 pipes, <laughs> nothing like pipes, that would be my dad and my uncle Pat. And they were rejoicing and celebrating that me finally getting a range of girls out under just a girl in her imagination. And can I just say, they are very happy looking. They are serene. There is no sad faces. They are, they are love and light. And I cannot wait to bring them to you. And keep a watch on this space because there's lots to be coming. I know I keep on going AWOL, but it's out of my control at the moment. But I will be back. 
because I'm almost over on the coffee table. Do you see all that paper? That's all the alterations I've been doing because I didn't just go on a computer and do it. I have to hand draw them again. So that's what I've been busy doing. Snuggled up in the corner of the couch because my rocking chair here. Yeah, it's comfy as it is. It's not quite the right height. So I go and I snuggle up in the corner of the couch and I redraw them again. But this is turning out to be a real long post and all I can want to say thank you. So I'm going to go, but just keep an eye out. The girls of Love and Light are coming. And these two, along with the other wee ones, they couldn't be happier, honestly. When the fiddle comes out in that back garden, you can that there's something magical coming. So Sue, Sunny, thank you so much from the heart. Honestly, I'm over the moon the day and I have really toasty, <laughs> really toasty feet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lots of love to everybody. Love and light and massive hugs. Thank you. I love you loads. I am beyond happy. I hope your day is as happy as mine is.